Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. I'm Pete from Pete.new. In the previous episode, we walked the length of the high road, came up against a few death claws, but we were completely prepared for that, so that was no problem at all. And some marked men as well. They were they were slightly more of an issue. And that has brought us here to, to the Ashton uh, Control Silo, Silo Control Station Control. Uh, what's our active quest? The launch. Activate the console to gain access to Ashton Missile Silo. So that'll be this thing here. Uh, I must use the lever. That's a lever. Oh, it's gone dark. Uh. What? That's, uh, that's not what I thought I was doing. That looks suspiciously like a... Oh, crumbs. Oh, no. No, no, I just thought I was opening a door. That's not a door. That's, um... Uh, where's it going? Away. Uh, not far enough. Well, it is certainly pretty. But it's also... I feel like I've been tricked. Good. You're back online. Listen to me, Eddie. If you stay here, they'll dismantle you for parts. You have to go now. I've uploaded destination coordinates for our outpost in Navarro into your system. I want you to go to the Enclave there, okay? Do you understand me? It's going to be a long journey, my little friend. You'll have to fly very far. And fly very fast. Can you do that? I know you can. Be careful out there, Eddie. Maybe I'll see you again someday. Wheatley has that kind of note in his voice of someone who's going to his death. Um, survival 55, so you're trying to get all the way to Navarro. Isn't that in NCR territory? Uh, how long ago was this? And you still haven't made it? <laughs> That's a bit too cheeky. Uh, yes, Eddie. I'm sure you didn't make the entire trip in one go. It's still impressive. Uh, Whitley turned you loose all on your own. That must have been scary. Sounds like it wasn't easy for him either. See, the thing is, you know, while he is just a robot, I can't bring it to, to say a nasty thing. Uh, I bet Whitley would be proud of you for making it this far. It seems to make the robot respond positively to me, so that's worth doing. Um, come on, we need to keep going. So, it looks like the missile hit somewhere on the other side of the divide. Do you think you could reach the location of the blast from Hopeville? That is, if you feel brave enough to explore ground zero of a nuclear blast. So, Courier's Mile is actually an optional area. Um, well, I'm not going to go there right now, but, you know, let me know in the comments if you want to see me attempt the Courier's Mile. Uh, it would be fun, I'm sure. Right, uh, let's let's loot these containers. Um, what do I need? Well, I never say no to the things for a weapon repair kit. What's in here? An industrial hand. Ooh, that's, uh, that looks like that might be stronger than my Saturnite Fist Superheated. Let's, let's just check that out quickly. So the Saturnite Fist Superheated has 59 damn 113 DPS. And the industrial hand has 46 damn, but it's not in perfect condition. So... You know, maybe once I've repaired that, maybe it will be better. I don't know. Uh, construction hat on the floor. No, thank you. Uh, no, let's leave that stuff behind. Um, I think we want to go inside. Okay, so it's a little bit radiation-y. And I hear something. And... Crap, what's going on? Red markers. Tunnelers! 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 Why was my Pip-Boy not activating? Right, okay, they're really close now. Um... I'll tell you what, let's let's try this industrial... Oh, that's... No, that's... That's that's not the industrial hand. Uh, no, I don't want to... What is wrong with my hands? What is wrong with me? Right, industrial hand. Okay. Let's try one shot of vats on each of these nasty guys. Okay. That didn't quite work. Nothing much is happening at all. Back to the old trusty. 
and I think Eddie managed to kill him yeah before I finish the job I I'm sucky really aren't I okay everything's gone into slow motion why would it do that uh right I need to heal up let's try two of these and two of these okay I think I'm stuck in slow motion and now I'm not stuff's going on out there uh should I go outside and see what gives I shouldn't really I think I should advance uh that's not good we're supposed to be going down there apparently but I don't really want to uh okay is this Okay, there's, there's a console here. Now, I believe this elevator lift is somewhat famous uh, for throwing tunnelers at you as you go. Um, they kind of bounce on you from the from above, uh, if, if my knowledge is correct. I see a red mark. Okay, that tunnel is not visible yet. But this one certainly is. Okay, let's take a couple of shots on him. Not enough, apparently. All right, uh, this hulking tunneler, he, he's, he's got a lot of power to hurt. But I think that might have been a critical hit. All right, let's deal with the ones that are still here. Okay, that one's still a little bit alive. Uh, I need to take... Uh, I haven't got any AP. Have I got any AP? I can take one shot, then I need to heal. Okay, so let's dodge back. Let's get into the, into come on the pit boy. Right, two oh eight. Uh, I think I'm those healing items are still active. Oh, here we go. Blood sausage, thin red paste. They're still healing me. So let's take some more stuff. Let's take a stim pack as well. And let's keep our eyes peeled. Okay, I see another one coming in. That's is my friend, of course. Two shots of that with a venomous... Ah, oh, you, you're pretty tough, man. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's keep our eyes peeled. Are there going to be more? I see a yellow mark. Oh, yep, yeah, you there. Okay, I can take one shot in vats. He's coming for me. And I'm in a really bad state. Come on, heal! Whew. Alright, I'm going to need some strategy for this, aren't I? All right, so before we go into there, let's let's get ourselves in place. Let's go into here. Right, so let's let's take some medics. I think I think a bit of medics for the damage resistance should uh, improve my life slightly. And let's activate this. And I might take. Did that hurt me? I don't know. Let's prepare for the tunnelers. Okay, did I see something flying over? There's a tunnel up there, but I can't see. One up there. Okay, I need to wait until they get a little bit closer. Okay, there's one down here. Right. Take as many shots as it takes to destroy him. Okay. That's one. You, my friend. Oh, very, very close. These guys are so fast. Let's take a few VAT shots. One, okay. Okay, my health is dropping, so let's stim pack while things are relatively quiet. In fact, it's tempting to chain a couple. I'm going to need them, aren't I? Alright, what does VAT say I've got to deal with? Right, this venomous tunnel. Okay, one shot helps. These guys are so quick, it's scary. Right, he's sorted. Let's keep moving, let's keep moving. Let's just check out in vats again. Right, there's no one around at the moment. Uh, there's one coming in, okay. I've got a shot on him. But he's here now. Okay, I'm seeing at least two. Uh, 
Right, let's use what we can on this guy. One shot. There's another one in here. Let's try it without that. Oh, he's shooting me. My health ain't good. Okay, quickly get into here. Right. 78. Chain a couple of stim packs. What next? So there's them. Thin red paste. Blood sausage are still active. Are there any other aid items I can stack on here to help me out? Okay, bloat fly slider that heals. Desert salad I think heals as well. Gecko kebab heals. Yeah, okay, we've got pl plenty of healing items going on at the same time. Uh, MRE doesn't give me much health, but I think it's worth doing. Uh, are there any other really good healing items in here? Let, let's go with that. Okay. So, I see another red mark. He's down there on the floor. Two good shots. Not enough to kill him. But that is. Are there any more coming? Not seeing any marks yet. Back up to full health. Yeah, the, the sort of... Oh, the kind of the parallel healing with all the food items was obviously a decent strategy for this. I think that might be it. I'm going to start looting. Getting blown around a little bit by all this explosion. But, you know, that's the worst thing that happened to me. That's not so bad. Okay, I think we've reached the bottom. Uh, let's get out of here. I'm, I'm not enjoying all this boom. All right, activate the international missile silo lift and head for the divide. So I guess I go through this door. Maybe? I don't know. I think we're in the right place. There's Eddie. Seeing lights doing stuff. I don't know. I might have actually overdone it on all the healing after all that, but so it is. Alright, what does Quest say? Activate the Ashton Missile Silo Lift and head for the Divide. Alright. Oh! <laughs> Taking a step forward triggered that explosion. Is that me again? Hard to know. Not sure if it's safe to go through that door. You know what? I'm going to quick save here. So that's the way I'm supposed to be going. What's through there? Ugh. Don't want to fall down there. As far as I can see, this is a, a sort of a, a moderately safe kind of area, though. There's a bit of a gap there. Got to turn on the lights. Help me loot. Don't know what this machine does. Can't get back across there. A terminal, yeah, I think I can get in here. Countermand is only 1 out of 11. Not many options here. Uh, so it can't be constructed, can't be comfortable, can't be electrified, which means it must be night vision. Uh, let's disengage the lock. I can now go in here. What will I find? Uh, destroyed iBot. Another one of these upgrade circuit boards. Ah, excellent. Yeah, glad I came here. Sensor module, I definitely want to make more auto inject super stim packs. And in fact, I can do that right here. Can only make one. Can I make anything else good? I could make some more ammo, but I think I'm alright. Uh, we'll, however, make a couple more weapon repair kits just because they weigh less than their components. <sighs> right. Keep on checking this room. Supply cabinet with some more odds and ends. Let's um, take the rocket canisters, okay. Might even be able to make another weapon repair kit out of what I've picked up here. I feel my, my chances are probably fairly good. Yes, this is a definitely a room that's intended for stocking up on weapon repair kits. So let's get another one of these auto-inject super stim packs first. Another two of those. Okay. That is this direction dealt with. And very satisfying it was too. Lots more supplies. 
Nothing I want. Ooh, a foot locker. Uh, no. Uh, what about this downstairs? I'm going to quick save and head down there. This is the launch deck. Or maybe this is actually where I'm supposed to be going. Yes. I believe it is. So I just want to check out this door over here before I start moving on. Just in level one. Another average lock terminal. Treatment two out of nine. So barnstorm it cannot be. Machinery, I don't think it can be. Monastery, that looks like the one. Another lock to disengage. Let's pop inside. <laughs> Frightened me briefly. Before I realised he was dead. Take your goodies. And the medex has worn off at long last. That stuff does go for a while. What's in the desk? A fair few cool things. A weird creaky noise in the background. Yeah, fine. Not disconcerting at all. And this is just a room full of various miscellaneous loots. I've seen these lockers. Um, yeah, I'll take that. It doesn't weigh much. US Army combat armor. That, however, does weigh a lot. You know what? Let's let's take it and give it to Eddie. I think Eddie's got room for some armors at the moment. That alarm going in the background isn't getting annoying at all. To inject MREs, pre war money. Uh, yeah, I want all this. Right, Eddie, please have room for these US Army combat armors. Oh, I can't get you. Long way round. Let's put away my gun so I can move faster. I'm not sure if you've got room for all of them, actually. No. Well, let's, let's do some repairing, seeing as I'm probably just going to sell these. Uh, repair that with that. And yeah, I think I think you can carry two of them, can't you? Yeah. You're very happy to. Alright, let's, uh, let's keep checking around here. Red mark. Oh! Thanks for opening the door, Eddie. My armour condition is dangerously low, yeah, that doesn't come as a surprise at all. Can't see much. Oh. Charging in there, I think, was probably the only option. Oh, oh my limbs. All right. What can we take from you? Those, those. Uh, an auto dock. Yep, yeah, I want that limb healed. I assume it can heal the limb. Oh, and the commissary is unlocked. Now, that's actually very useful. Uh, okay, Eddie, um, give me back all these marked scout armors because I need to do some repairing. And I also want to do some selling so let's let's get busy on that so let's repair that up with that I'm not sure how many of these I really need to be carrying around for uh, for repairs purposes especially seeing as I can repair using the commissary but right let's uh, let's sell like crazy all right let's uh, let's take the oh no, I didn't mean to do that uh, let's take all your 308 ammo. That stuff is going to be useful. Um, no explosive 50. That would have been useful for the anti-material rifle at some point, but so it is. So it is. I don't think I need ammo for anything else. Okay, so let's accept that. And now if I exit, will the commissary have restocked on caps? No, I need to make it go a little bit lower. Let's, let's sell it one of these scout armors. And now I think the commissary will have restocked. Indeed. Hasn't got more 308 ammo though. Uh, so let's keep the best marked scout armor and sell the rest of them. Uh, I've also got a tri beam laser rifle to sell. And some cigarettes. What else? Anything else worthless in here? Plunger, don't know why I've got that. Tunnel hide, yeah, let's get rid of all those. And I might sell some of these ammos that I never use. Okay, that, that'll do for now, I think. Just need to give 
a little bit of stuff back to Eddie. These two armors, and then I'm free to move again. I might also give him some of my surplus ammo. I give you all these microfusion cells. Uh, all these rockets, I'm not using any of that. Yeah, I'll do for the time being. Another door. Leads to here. Oh, this is familiar. Okay, I've been around in a circle. Alright, I think this area is done. And we can now move on properly by going downstairs. Let's just reload this. Hope my reloading didn't cause that. And we're going through here. Can't see any red marks in here. I think we're alone. Let's proceed on with some caution. Ooh, some sort of blue, maybe a gas plume. I wonder if that's highly, highly dangerous. I've got an average locked door. What does our local map say we should be doing here? It says our destination's back up there. Kind of, uh -huh. All right, maybe, maybe we kind of loop round. Let's let's go in this door and see what happens. Pile of junk. Wonder if there's anything good in here. Sensor module, I see. What about in the locker? That's more riot gear. If you like that sort of thing. Well, presumably all this stuff was on the shelves until all the explosions happened. And then it wasn't. Uh, let's jump across. Okay, I think... Hello, what? Something here worries you. Well, I don't know what that is. Are you telling me I shouldn't go down here? Well, I'm kind of... I'm not sure what else to do. Let's try carefully picking our way across all the fire. Marks, tunnelers, tunnelers, tunnelers. Okay, I've got plenty of action points in vats. Oh, you know, maybe I probably could have done a sneak attack on them. And, uh, what, where? There you are. Uh, yeah. If I'd snuck, then maybe I could have done a bit more damage with my first shot. But it looks like there's only the two of them. I'm going to go into sneak. Yes. He had scissors on him. Alright. Uh... Let's maybe turn the torch off. That would not be conducive to sneaky sneakiness. Okay, looks good. We have a door to Sunstone Tower. Well, that sounds nice. Make your way to the roof of the collapsed office building and reach the divide. Okay, looks like this might be a good place to end this episode. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.